Capricorns, this video is for Wednesday, January 31st, the last day of January. What is coming into your collective's energy? That's what I'm going to be seeing today. For January, the 31st, Wednesday, the last day of January in 2024 for Capricorns. death. Three of cups. The devil. Could there be some good change on the way? Let's find out. For Wednesday, the 31st. Two of swords. Two of Wands. Let me move this over. Two of Wands and Strength. I'm going to think about this for a second. So, if these energies, first of all, the top uh, energies coming at your collective for Wednesday, they're all together. I see this almost as an achievement worth celebrating, but we'll find out. The death card by clarified by the two of wands, two of swords, and strength. This again is just speaking to the transformation that you decided that you're undergoing. Because this is all you. This is you in almost like different um, angles, different elements of yourself. You're not going to be bothered. You have that clear, focused, long-term goal. And you have the strength to go and see it without any distractions. And in doing so, you're moving, you're moving forward determinedly. That's what I'm getting here for Wednesday, you've, the decision that you've made, you're carrying through on it, and you're not allowing anything to get in the way of it. I don't even need to clarify this. So that's the energy behind this death card. This is good movement. Good movement that aligns with your purpose, your soul, your emotions. This is movement towards being a more authentic you. The second energy of the Three of Cups. We'll clarify that. The Eight of Pentacles. I got two right here. So I think I am going to clarify this. Three of Pentacles and the Fool, it, this feels like work to me. Either it's going to be a nice day at work today for Wednesday or the fact that it's, that these energies are composing this Three of Cups energy, maybe you're going to get an accolade for it, an accolade at work, a recognition at work, but I'm going to clarify. King of Cups for the Eight of Pentacles. That was too many cards. I'm just doing a one card clarifier. Ah, this is an interesting way it starts off looking like work and then I'm seeing all these emotions and they're all nicely aspected. I'll, I'll, I'll say that, okay. Maybe I'll have to clarify this a bit more. So, celebrations are in order. From what I am seeing, in fact, I'm going to just clarify these more before I go into it. So give me a moment on this. Because it looks like work, but then the clarifiers all speak to a 
brand new start in a relationship and if I was to read them together that it would be like a relationship where you could really build something meaningful but let me make sure if it is a relationship as opposed to some great gain at work because that's good too right <laughs> let's see oh ten of cups okay I think we are dealing with a relationship here I think uh, some of you in oops, that was too many cards again. Some of you in the collective have been building something really great or working on a connection that's maturing in a really great manner. So justice four of pentacles for our three of pentacles and for our fool see what we have here. Okay, so we have, we have really nice cards here. And let me mention as well, from what I see, I am not seeing any angst in here too. So these are, these are, this is a good, pure, clean energy surrounding this Three of Cups, number one. So, very diligently, like the earth signs you are, <laughs> um, you have been working on this connection, or this connection has been working towards you. Take it as it resonates. But essentially, there is someone coming in or in your life in this King of Cups energy who is trying to build, working towards building um, a meaningful, long-lasting, responsible, loving, emotional family relationship with you, right? All those, all those good things. Um, this is really good energy to be behind the, the eight of um, the eight of uh, pentacles. So, whoever you're dealing with, who has these energies, maybe they're working a little slow in the connection with you. But know that this person, this looks like a new person, but take it as it resonates. This person is. Um, is a good person and what they want is a, a stable relationship okay That's point number one and they're really happy to be working on it with you point number two with the three of Pentacles maybe they with this four of Pentacles here especially in the three of pentacles energy, it, it almost makes me feel like somebody has kept their feelings, not as expressed the full extent of their feelings. That's what I'm feeling here from the four of swords. But essentially, there's mutual commitment here. This is, again, good energy. Just somebody's holding back. It's almost like, too, maybe someone's holding back a little bit and someone's holding on a little bit more. But I don't see anything worrisome about that coming from the Three of Pentacles energy. I mean, you know, when you're dealing with somebody on those day-to-day -day fluctuations, I mean, there's always like a little power pull between, between people, right? Depending on how you're feeling and what else is going on and how hassled or how relaxed and things like that. So that's what I'm seeing here. It's just basically, you know, evolving and, and finding out more about the person that you're dealing with but you're doing it from a standpoint of both of you are looking at each other like this is my long-term person and I would say just with this four of cups energy or excuse me four of uh, pentacles energy the message I'm getting here is that somebody may hold on a little tighter than the other and maybe somebody too is not showing how much the connection means 
somebody's holding back a little bit, showing their, their true extent of, um, of their feelings. But overall, this is still good energy. And the final collection of energies under our Three of Cups is the Fool. And I just see this as, um, again, this is active energy, first of all. I like to point out, not only do we have the Sun, we had the Two of Cups here. For the relationship, we had... I mean, this feels like very... Um, very matrimonial type of energy here. I mean, almost like, uh, you know, there are, if there aren't marriage talks, there are definitely marriage thoughts in here. You're, you're seeing and planning for the long term, all under the Three of Cups energy. I mean, you're, you're on the same page here, even again, if maybe somebody is not expressing it. This is people on the same page, same page of commitment. And just let me add to these energies, we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles right here. So putting those cards back and going back to the full energy, I would say this is definitely new for at least one of you to be, I think, at this level of engagement or considering somebody at this level of commitment. Take it as it resonates, but that's what I'm feeling. Um, this whole thing feels very matrimonial, very stable, very good vibes. They said only just one person is not showing how much they care, but there's equal care on both sides. Um, and this feels like a new experience. A new experience that you are um, more than ready and willing to go and jump into collectively. Okay, so this is a good, a good Three of Cups for Wednesday. And our final card, Capricorn Energy making an appearance, the Devil. We'll clarify that. The Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, all oh, this kind of sweet energy. Well, well, I'll go and make sh check some of these energies, but they seem like very sweet energy here. I know even though it's like you know the Devil energy, but we have new beginnings. We have new beginnings with a stable foundation, and when we have whether this is past memory or tenderness. I'm kind of seeing the fact that, although it's under the Devil card, the fact that it's paired with a Hierophant in this energy, this feels like excitement and tenderness together. You know, that on a stable foundation, bringing that together. But we'll see. I'll do some clarifiers. So Queen of Wands, Hangman, and Page of Swords for our opportunity. See the Hierophant, Seven of Pentacles, another Ace, Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, some waiting cards here which I think now explains the devil card. <laughs> um, but then I'll continue. Let me go and um, clarify the Six of Cups before I get into it. The Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups. Okay, so first off, let me say that with this devil energy here, or the devil being clarified by the Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Six of Cups. I feel this is impatientness. And the reason why. So, first of all, we have our card of new beginnings, the Ace of Wands. With the Queen of Wands, and, and the Ace of Wands is clarified. 
by the Queen of Wands, the Hangman, and the Page, Page of Swords. I am seeing this, especially with the fact that we have fire and air in here. And then the Hangman's just like, you know, <laughs> in its stasis mode. <laughs> Clarifying the Ace of Wands. Uh, this is overdue. So, number one with this devil energy. Whatever is coming on, or whatever you're thinking of, that is a relationship. Because I have, I have three aces here. Yes, I have three aces here. There's some sort of breakthrough that you're waiting for. I don't feel the breakthrough is necessarily related to this death card energy. It could be. Because I know I'm reading for the collective. But I feel like, like this is you waiting on a person. This death energy, by the way, this is you. This is you making your own choices. It's not really dependent on anybody else. I mean, obviously... Um, external circumstances do come into our decisioning, but this is still all you. This is you dealing with another person. So, yeah, that's the energy here behind this Ace of Wands. Whatever this Ace is, whatever this opportunity that's being offered with commitment with the Hierophant, this is long overdue. That's what I feel. You feel it's long overdue. The Hierophant being clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords. Again, this is waiting for an outcome. What took you so long? What's taking so long? Let's, <laughs> let's get going, okay? That's the energy behind here as well. So this here font is all about, yes, the decision has been made, but you still feel very impatient with the time it took to get to this state. And then finally, with our Six of Cups, maybe the person that you dealt with had to be on some sort of trip. Maybe they were preoccupied with money and they couldn't give you as much time. I don't quite know what the details are. I'm keeping these these daily readings short. But there has been some sort of separation, but I don't... Let me clarify. I don't really see, even with the Emperor here, I see this as like a necessary separation. But even to the fact that it's clarifying here, we still have good cards here. I feel that these cards together just echoes the same exact message before, especially with that ace being there. We have aces in each one of these clarifier cards too, by the way, this, this clarifying uh, drill down. You know, the whole thing is, what's taking so long? What's taking so long? <laughs> same exact message what's taking so long even with um, even though this person thinks whatever it's taking that long is necessary still is the same message we're finally getting a move on but it took so long clarifying the six of cups what's taking so long so there's an impatientness here, and that's what this devil card energy signifies. There's some sort of gain that you're having in a relationship, but you feel it's taking too long, okay? Um, without drilling down, I don't really know if it is or isn't, but you have really good cards in here with the aces, and then also to the Hierophant. I mean, there's good stable... There's stable groundwork here in addition to the new beginning, so it could just be that you're just ready to, to move on, move on fast and, and get going with it. But that's what I have for you, Capricorns, for Wednesday. I hope um, this uh, resonates. If it does, let me know. Like, comment, uh, subscribe, sign up. I'm a new channel, and uh, I appreciate your time today. I'll be back with another 
another reading for you, and thank you. Bye-bye.